My artwork is in pastel style. I termed it in pastel realism. An in pastel is like uh, you know the kind of painting you make where the color pops out of the canvas. You know, Lagos is a place where you get to meet people with diverse culture. It's as if everybody is trying to live together inside this small space. Sometimes the environment might be chaotic, but you know in the end it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting. Sit out here. As a child, you know, I have always had a passion for drawing. I'm the kind of person that, that grew up with uh, low self-esteem. But as I grew up, I, I began to have more confidence in myself. And I think that was through the help of the arts, you know. Art is the only way I breathe. That is the only way I, I have confidence in myself. That is the only way I express myself. When I first got to Lagos, you know, the environment was new and I kind of fe felt nervous, you know. If you can live in Lagos, you're a very strong person. You know, Lagos is like one of the most commercialized area in Nigeria. It's a place where everybody wants to come to and do business. You see a lot of conductors, you know, calling people to enter the bus. You know, it was very nice here. I was just like, wow, this place is a different place entirely from where I was coming from. The traffic in Lagos can be so crazy. 30 minutes journey sometimes might become five hours journey. I moved to Lagos four years ago. When it comes to art, there are a lot of galleries in Lagos. There are a lot of artists in Lagos. So where I was living, I wasn't exposed to a lot of activities. So I just wanted to have more experience about the art world and how it works. Every day when I wake up, you know, I like to write my goals down. I like to do some meditation and I like to exercise as well. Most of my activities are always in the studio. I barely go out, you know, I paint. I'm always in one position. I can be in one position for more than 10 hours and keep painting. So I feel to maintain good health, I need to do some exercise as well. I, I spend a lot of my time in the studio. There are times when I, you know, like I lose motivation in painting and I feel like I'm doing too much. I need to relax and all those things. I like to visit the beach. That's where I get to calm my mind. And sometimes at the beach as well, I go with my sketch pad where I get to, you know, sketch some of my friends. I do some freehand sketch. As an African artist, I feel the responsibility of wanting to change the mind of the youth. That's the reason why I work with young people like myself. Most of my characters are my friends, people around me, people I'm used to, you know. So I want to be able to tell their stories and I also want to like give them confidence in themselves. I kind of drive some inspiration from people around me as well, especially when I go to Lagos. You know, seeing people on the streets um, walking goods uh, on the road inside traffic, you know, it's like kind of exposing their life to, to danger just to, you know, meet the needs of their family. So this struggle is also one of the things that pushed me, that inspires me. I want to tell the story of my people, you know, and I also want people to gain confidence in themselves, seeing my works. I keep mentioning the word confidence, you know, and it's because that is the only thing that has, you know, kept me moving. <laughs>